Hi, this is Doug with Database by Doug with a video on foreign keys. If you haven't watched the primary keys video, you might want to go and check that out. And then after this video, you might want to look at the videos on joins. So a foreign key is a field in a table that, uh, so in this case, table A, that references some primary key value in another table. So this is a way of having a record in one table, table A, uh, refer or look up something over in table B. Uh, so um, my example here from Northwinds is categories and products. So here I'd have the categories table and there's the primary key. And I have products table and products has a primary key of product ID, but it also has a foreign key of the category ID. So this is meant to uh, be able to relate a product record to a category record. So each product is in a category, but we don't store all of the category information over in the products table. We just store a lookup value from uh, the products table. And once I look at that value, I should be able to go over and find out the details from of that category from the products table. So, um, so let's go ahead and, and from a, a practical standpoint, just take a look at this lookup. So I'm going to look at both of these records, or uh, sorry, I'm going to get two result sets. So what I've done is I've looked at both you know products and categories, and uh, just a few of the fields so we can focus on things. So for instance, if I look at this record for chai, this product, and I look at the category ID, it's saying that chai uh, is in category ID 1. So if I want to find out what that category is, I can go over into the categories table and say, oh, that's the beverages category, right? So um, also, there are multiple products in the same beverages category and multiple products uh, in the condiments category, right? Um, one thing to note is that product ID, there are no nulls in the product ID uh, right, so that is an example of a primary key. Primary keys can't be null, right? There's category IDs here. This is the primary key of categories, so those can't be null. But I happen to have put a record in here, uh, pencils, as a product, and I've left the category ID null because I didn't feel like there was a good category to place it in. None of these, uh, well, I probably should have put it in office, which I also added. Um, but uh, the point being is that sometimes the category is unknown and I can have products or products can exist in the world without being in a category, right? Um, so looking at a foreign key field, certainly um, a foreign key can be repeated. It's not unique and a category ID can be null or I can have an unknown uh, that the pencils as a product has an unknown category, right? So, so that's kind of how uh, we would use it in a practical sense to look up fields or look up records from one table to another table. So, um, another kind of Zen way of thinking about this is that foreign keys end up defining a relationship. So I, I know that products somehow relate to categories and I operationalize that or I become uh, definite about it by defining a foreign key relationship. So category ID here relates to category ID here. So in one sense, it's a relationship between fields, right? So this field and that field. In another sense, it says something more about the tables involved. So products are uh, in categories and a category could have more than one product in it. So in order to define clearly a relationship, it would be nice if I could count on that relationship so that uh, every time I encountered a category ID as a foreign key, like the number six, I'm could be guaranteed that that value six actually exists over in the categories table. So this requirement that a foreign key value 
uh, be valid is what we call referential integrity. And over the, in other words, the reference has some integrity. I can count on it, right? So um, this is defined in the products table and uh, is the thing that makes sure that I can count on, on those foreign key values. So uh, what I'm going to do is look at the definition of the products table and I formatted it uh, slightly different than it came out of uh, the, the definition. Um, but just for clarity, so I've omitted some columns. So here's the definition, the create statement for the products table. And you can see that there's product ID as the primary key, so it's defined as it can't be null, and it's defined as an identity, in other words, kind of an auto number, and it will begin numbering at one and uh, increment by one each time. And I also know that it's the primary key because there's a constraint on this table. So this is the column definition portion. And now uh, this is the constraint definition portion of the create statement. So here I see that PK, there is a constraint with the name of PK underscore products. And that constraint is of the type primary key. Uh, it also defines a clustered index and the field involved is product ID. So again, products.productID is the primary key. I'm also defining a constraint called fk underscore products underscore categories that is of the type foreign key, and the field involved is category ID. So in other words, products.category ID is a foreign key, and it references the categories table, and in particular, the field involved is category ID. So again, let me kind of specify this. The category ID field in products references the category ID field in categories, and it's a constraint. So if I try to do something over in products, uh, I need to make sure that uh, it's not going to violate this referential integrity. Um, so let's try to violate it and see what happens. So here I'm going to go over into products and edit the top 200 records. And I happen to know from my query here that valid category IDs end at 11, right? So I'm going to go back into the products table and try to take chai and put it in a category ID of 31, which I happen to know doesn't exist. And it says, hey, you can't do that. You can't uh, change some category ID that used to be valid and change it into a category ID that is no longer valid. So the database engine actually goes over into the categories table and looks for the value 31. It can't find it, so it denies the update. So let's say, so that was an update. Let's say I go to a new record and I try to put pens in and I'm going to use a category ID of 31 again. So this would be an insert of a new record. And on that insert, it's actually going to do the same thing, which is deny that insert because 31 is not a valid category ID. So um, a little more subtle is the fact that this referential integrity can be affected by changes over in the categories table also. So for instance, let's say I have, um, well, let's just go ahead and edit, go ahead and demo it. So here I am, I happen to know that Chai is in category ID one, right? So in a way, that Chai record in the products table depends on this record existing to make sure that its foreign key is valid. And if I try to delete this record, it will say, hey, you can't do that because you have a foreign key constraint that this would violate. If one went away, I wouldn't know what chai, uh, what category chai was in, right? Furthermore, I can't take this category ID and change it to a new value and also violate it. 
So uh, in this case, it's an identity field, so I, I can't change it anyway. But, but just realize that this, in a way, when I define this constraint like this, it actually puts a constraint over on the categories table also. So even though I'm, I'm constraining it here on the products table, it has an effect on both products and on the categories table. Right. So um, if we have referential integrity, in other words, if we can count on those foreign key values being valid, then I can do things like this, which is a join, and I can take uh, field values from both the products table, and that's these first three, and combine them accurately with uh, the values from another table. So this is what we would call a join. And in a way, this is a way of doing multiple lookups, quote unquote, of foreign key values to primary key values. So um, that's another video, but this is a, a very powerful concept. I just say, hey, put these records next to each other and relate them appropriately based on the primary key and foreign key value. Now, I can do this from statement using any two fields. They don't need to be primary keys and foreign keys, but if I define the primary key and foreign key and uh, enforce referential integrity, then I can count on these being valid relationships. If I don't put those foreign key constraints in, then uh, when I do an operation like this, I really can't count on the results. So in summary, foreign keys provide a lookup mechanism for records in two different tables. So how do I relate those to the records from the two tables? And it also kind of conceptually at a higher level says how the entities represented by those tables, like categories and products, are related. Referential integrity is uh, an enforcement of good foreign key values. So make sure that the foreign keys always have a valid value. Foreign key values can repeat, right? So in this situation, more than one product can be in a category. And foreign key values can be null. In other words, I could have a product that I, has an unknown category. Again, you might want to go and uh, watch the join videos. Thanks for watching.